When Dr. Elizabeth Baker spotted her employee Melody Blackwell caring for her baby at work, she had something to say on the matter. And as a result, she posted a photo of the new mom and her child on Facebook for the world to see. However, she never expected the reaction that she got. Becoming a mom is undoubtedly one of the most life-changing experiences a woman can go through. But suddenly being thrust in charge of a little life can be an overwhelming experience for many first-time parents. Yet caring for their child is just one adjustment of many that new mothers face. It goes without saying that caring for a newborn can be exhausting. New moms have just gone through the physical and mental turmoil that is childbirth. Then, at the time when they could do with rest the most, they are put in charge of a baby that only sleeps intermittently. What's more, just when they could use people to lean on, many moms find that having a baby has left their social life in tatters. As a result, feelings of loneliness and isolation are not uncommon. And even if they do find the time to meet friends, they might not be able to justify spending a couple of dollars on coffee or lunch. According to research by Baby Center, over half of mothers experience feelings of guilt when spending cash on themselves. It's been suggested that part of the reason for this is that many moms feel they should put others first. Furthermore, mothers tend to have less money in general now that they have children. According to research by Baby Center, over half of mothers experience feelings of guilt when spending cash on themselves. It's been suggested that part of the reason for this is that many moms feel they should put others first. Furthermore, mothers tend to have less money in general now that they have children. The reasons why some women choose not to return to work after having a baby can vary. Some decide to be full-time caregivers to their child. However, Others take on that role after concluding that it would be more cost-effective to give up their wage than to pay for childcare. On the other side of the coin, almost a quarter of new moms in the United States reportedly returned to work just two weeks after giving birth. According to 2012 research by the Department of Labor, there's one reason in particular why women return to their jobs so quickly. This is the lack of paid maternity leave in America. In the U.S. women are not entitled to leave paid or unpaid, in order to care for a newborn or recover from birth. There is, however, the 1993 Family and Medical Leave Act. This legislation allows 12 weeks of unpaid annual leave for new moms who work in a company with over 50 employees. Nevertheless, in comparison to other developed countries, U.S. maternity leave falls short. In Sweden, for instance, new moms and dads are given 480 days parental leave, which can be shared between them. Furthermore, Swedish parents can claim up to 80% of their salary for just over a year, after which they transfer to a flat rate. So while Sweden has one of the most generous parental leave policies, the U.S. reportedly has one of poorest within the developed world. Furthermore, it's the only major nation that doesn't offer paid time off for new moms as standard. And so some American mothers have to return to work earlier than they might otherwise like to. Unfortunately, this can have a catastrophic effect on women and their children. For instance, moms who go back to work very early are reportedly less likely to breastfeed their babies. And what's more, these women might then experience bouts of depression, and their children's development could even suffer, too. In a 2015 report on paid family leave, in These Times magazine spoke to Natasha Long. She had returned to work just three weeks after giving birth to her third child in 2012. Long revealed she would express milk in her truck during her breaks, as her company had no designated space for lactation. While pumping, she would cry thinking about her newborn baby she wished was in her arms. Elsewhere, when Melody Blackwell and her husband learned they were pregnant with their first child in 2018 the expectant mom was keen to get her work affairs in order. She had worked as an assistant at a chiropractic office in Brentwood, Tennessee, for the past four years. And she wanted to keep her employer in the loop. As a result, soon after Blackwell found out that she was pregnant, she made sure that her boss, Dr. Elizabeth Baker, was in the know. And luckily for Blackwell, she was supportive with regard the situation. Consequently, it was Dr. Baker who came up with a solution to her employees' working mom woes. To make life easier for Blackwell, Dr. Baker proposed that her employee could work from home. The new mother would then only have to come into the office on one day a week, and for just a few hours. That way, 
she could show up at the periodic staff meetings and still feel a part of the team. However, even getting into the office one day a week can be difficult for some new moms. So to save Blackwell from having to fork out for childcare, Dr. Baker said that she was welcome to bring her baby along to work. Once she got pregnant I knew we needed to figure out a way to make this work, Dr. Baker told Yahoo in January 2019. We had nine months to plan, at least. While there was still a lot to work out, Blackwell was happy with the plan that Dr. Baker had proposed. I was excited when she said that was a possibility, she told Yahoo. Because, if her boss hadn't have been so supportive, she would have had to rely on family members to look after her baby. For Blackwell child care wasn't really an option. I knew it was going to be hard for me to leave her when she was so young, she explained to Yahoo. However, Blackwell sympathized with women who had no other choice. I know it's hard to drop them off at daycare when they're just two or three months old, she said. Blackwell's concerns over the realities of daycare were shared by Dr. Baker. However, the doctor's worries revolved around the financial burden that option can put on new moms. It's sometimes worse than not having a job at all, she told Yahoo. It makes more financial sense for them to quit their jobs. So, when Blackwell had her child in August 2018, a little girl she named Nora Jo, she felt supported by her boss, Dr. Baker. When I had the baby, my boss was very generous, giving me a three-month maternity leave, Blackwell told Love What Matters. As a result, the new mom got the opportunity to bond with her daughter without worrying about work. With Blackwell temporarily out of the office, Dr. Baker and two of her colleagues divvied out her duties between them. We did have to bug, Blackwell, sometimes, Dr. Baker admitted to Yahoo. However, the chiropractor was confident that Blackwell would be able to complete her tasks from home following her leave. After that, she has allowed me to work from home most of the week and only come into the office once a week, Blackwell explained, in a self pen piece for Love What Matters. She allows me to bring my baby with me when I come in so that we can continue to bond and breastfeed. The ability for Blackwell to be able to nurse Nora Jo regularly is important to Dr. Baker. The chiropractor thinks holistically and so she understands the importance of maintaining a baby's breastfeeding routine. And to make things even easier, she and her staff were at hand to help Blackwell fulfill her motherly duties. Speaking to Yahoo, Dr. Baker explained, We're an all-female staff so we all have that mothering instinct. Consequently, the doctor and her colleagues take turns trying to soothe Nora Jo if she starts fussing when Blackwell is otherwise engaged. It really does take a village, as Dr. Baker put it. Meanwhile, Blackwell is thankful for her colleagues' help. However, she doesn't expect them to lend a hand when it comes to seeing to Nora Jo, especially when they're busy with their own tasks. I know it's not their responsibility, so I never ask them but they want to, she told Yahoo. Describing her workday routine with Nora Jo, Blackwell revealed she feeds her as soon as they get to the office. After that, the baby is content for a while. As a result, she's happy to sit at her mom's desk while Blackwell gets on with her work. And so, Nora Jo's adorable face can be seen by patients when they enter the chiropractic clinic. While her co-workers are certainly on hand to help if necessary, Blackwell can often be seen handling her duties like a pro. Indeed, taking multitasking to the next level, one day Dr. Baker spotted the first time mom holding Nora Jo. And at the same time she was taking a phone call and making notes with a pen and paper. Baker was so struck by the scene that she decided to take a photograph. She then posted the candid snap to the Maryland Farms Chiropractic Facebook page in December 2018. Her patients had been asking how Blackwell and her baby were getting on, so Baker thought it might be nice for them to see for themselves. She makes it look easy, Dr. Baker wrote of Blackwell, beside the photograph. It helps that baby Nora Jo is so sweet and content just being with and near her mama. And given her praise for her employee, Dr. Baker was confident that the sweet scene between mother and baby could be replicated in offices up and down the country. Writing on Facebook Dr. Baker urged, would y'all mind sharing this? We need more small and large businesses to see this is doable and should be allowed more often. The newborn months are so short. She also encouraged other working mothers to share their stories online. Hashtag workin' mamas post a pic of you and your little ones while you work.
After finishing her call to action, Dr. Baker clicked the share button on her post and presumably thought little of it. However, the photograph of Blackwell and her baby would go on to resonate with thousands of people. I wanted to share that with our little following for the office, Dr. Baker later told Yahoo. I never thought it would get so many comments and shares. But while Dr. Baker was shocked by the public reaction to her Facebook post, Blackwell seemingly understood why it might have struck a chord. I think a lot of people are in that same boat, she told WTVF. They're trying to make it work and there are a lot more working moms now. Within two and a half months Baker's post had clocked up more than 2,300 reactions and 1,300 shares. Furthermore, the adorable picture of Blackwell and Nora Jo had attracted hundreds of comments. And many of them came from working moms who were eager to share their own stories with the world. Sharing a picture of her daughter, one woman revealed, My work is amazing. I've been bringing my daughter with me to work since she was two years old. Now she's seven and helps out around the office with small tasks. She has her own space and the bosses even give her fun things to do. But while there was lots of praise for Baker, some commenters felt that an office wasn't the place for a baby. This is wrong, wrote one such user. There should be better maternity leave laws not allowing mothers to bring their babies to work. No one can work productively while caring for a newborn. And no one can take care of a newborn while working. Despite the criticism, both Dr. Baker and Blackwell were happy that they had helped to open up the conversation around working moms. I know not every office and work environment is conducive for children and babies, but I think more places can be more flexible than they are currently, Blackwell told Love What Matters. Meanwhile, writing on Facebook, Dr. Baker added, I wish there was a way for small businesses to afford to give longer time off. There are no government-funded programs for us small business to give long leave. There are no insurance policies we can get to fund a long leave. It's a huge loss of manpower and a large cost for us to offer any paid leave. However, while acknowledging the difficulties small businesses like hers face when accommodating working moms, Baker was sure that more could be done. So she encouraged more companies to follow her lead and let babies into the office. I think more small and large businesses should look more toward allowing that, she told Yahoo. And Blackwell agreed. She told Love What Matters, I hope that other employers will see this picture and see that it can be done. Depending on the workplace, moms can bring their children to work and be productive. I hope that more moms in the future will get the opportunity that I have to get to spend every day with my baby but also contribute to the family income. <laughs>